This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 23 of Building Knight Rider. Building kit. It's kit. It's a kit kit from Knight Rider. You know what it is. Uh, this is what we're building. Uh, we're continuing work on the engine. Look, you can see the main guts of it, the turbine engine over there. Uh, but first of all, as ever, we'll flip through the magazine, have a look, see what's in the words, and then get on with the building. Uh, in the series, we're looking at a nice, in, in a, indecent little town. Uh, this is uh, episode 17 from season one. Yeah, uh, aired in 1983, uh, 1985 in Spain, and 1986 in France. Don't know about the UK, but I'm assuming probably a similar sort of time to the US. It didn't have to be translated to a different language or anything for it, so maybe. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it will... Um, yes, they uh, went over to another series involving a new unique vehicle. I can hear the Airwolf music now, damn it. Right. Oh well, there we go. That's it. That's all I'm going to get. Uh, Devon's speech is part of the standing set at Universal Studios. Uh, Hill Valley from Back to the Future. Again, lots of these sets from this sort of era got reused and because they were there. They just sort of filmed other things there as well. So uh, The kit's functions, autopilot, radar, printing machine, engine video playback and voice projector amongst other things uh eric clapton's I i've got a rock and roll heart i don't really recognize that one i don't know that one and uh shame on the moon from bob's bob seager uh kit is indisposed uh michael is indisposed not kit that means it's either with a young lady or in jail it was probably one of those two things wouldn't it yeah there we go uh yeah there we go lots of stills and things from there uh Turbo boost, obviously. Uh, the build, yes, uh, we're continuing to assemble the turbine housing. The lower part and the back part of the pieces you've assembled up to this point. So we're basically building up a bit more around that to sort of enclose it, which is always nice to get some parts sort of finished. Uh, I think we're adding extra bits to that next time, though, so we're not really finished, finished, but there we go. Uh, driverless driving, uh, autopilot mode is well known, but how did they make it actually work? They, they had someone sitting in one of the seats, didn't they? But there we go. Uh, Pedals operated by cables and things, but yeah, there we go. Version uh, kit modified on the inside. Hollow space in the seat. Yeah, well, you can see that. When you watch back now, it's like, that's the, but hey, wait. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's that. All right, let me get the parts ready and we'll get the build done. It shouldn't be a very long one, this one again. So here we start with a couple of metal parts and a plastic part. The plastic part we are attaching here. Uh, obviously, you've got to make sure you get it the right way around because it will probably it will probably fit on either way around that one. Yeah. So make sure the two tubes are pointing towards these two pipes over here, and there's two screws in the bottom there. Obviously, for this to go into, these are the BP screws because although they're going through metal, the part they're going into is in fact plastic. The thread design is different between the metal and the plastic screws, basically. That's what makes them different. So that is that. Nice and easy. Make sure these are as tight as they need to be. Oh, without pressing the button. That's the trouble with this screwdriver. It's it's lovely, but you can very easily press the unscrew button while you're just holding it. So yeah, be careful if you do use that. Uh, so that's that in place with there. Uh, next up. If I can get the instructions where I can see them, uh, we're going to be using some GM screws. Uh, two of those, so one of those can stay in the bag. Uh, and this piece is going on to here. All right, so this is being held that way round. Uh, that is going on that way round, and obviously we'll be going on to the posts at the back there. Yeah, that fits on around the outside like that. So that's what we have. Let's see, is that going to fit on there nicely? It is. Through there. 
No, not through there. It is through there, but it won't hold through there and through there. So let's rearrange things so I can see what I'm doing and hold what I'm doing as well. One there. Go in there. No, not so easy with that for this bit. Let's use a more normal screwdriver for a bit. Get the second one lined up. A bit more fine motor control. Get that one in there. Go, and there we can tighten down the first one again. Draw. Everything lines up as it should on the outside, looking good. Uh, right, then we get to fit. Let's get that that way round, and that will go that way round. And that basically covers over everything inside there. Why is that wobbling? Why is that a little bit loose? I think these up nice and tight. Can't really go any tighter than that. I am going into metal, so I probably can. Don't want things to wobble when they don't have to wobble. That seems better. Right, so this has got to go between those bits, like that, and everything should. If I've got that the right way around, let's double check. Uh, that end against that end, yeah, that seems so far so good. All the way down then. That bit's got to go inside there as well. A little bit of squeezing and manipulation. Let's do it. There we go. Looks like it's scratching a little bit of paint off on the inside of that, but that's on the inside of that where I'm not going to be seeing it, so it's okay. That goes in there. Uh, I would expect a little bit further down. I'm expecting that these rivet bits have got to line up with each other. So, draw everything lines up. Push it a little bit harder. It was about right. Uh, let's see, we're going to be holding that in place with two AM screws through the top there. So we'll make sure that they line up in the packet because I don't need that one. Let's see. Long way down in there. Feels like that's tightening into something, so hopefully that's lining up okay. No, it isn't. The screws come back out again. Let's try the other one just to see and make sure. Yeah, it feels like it is, but I don't think it is. Nope, the screws come back out on there as well. Right, I might need to loosen a few bits and manipulate and... Ah, no, there we go. Just by moving that out a little bit, that feels like that might have clicked in place. Try that again, shall we? That in there some friction behind that so it feels like there might be and indeed the screws not come back out again so hopefully that will be okay let's try the other side that feels again different to how it did the first time so and again no screw so hopefully that's okay let's see if these tighten down now yeah that's come to a tight bit there we go that one on the other side feels like i'm not in the screw there there we go that is and that has now tightened down as well so we've got our turkey chicken thing i don't know i'm assuming that this is a proper engine a, you know design it's not something just made up for kit and made up for this build but it looks a bit strange but there we go that is the turbine housing assembly with its lower part and rear now assembled so that's that um i shall be continuing this very shortly so uh, stick around for other part works and then come back for more of this in a few days. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye for now.